What's up, everyone? Zach here, bringing you another Team Taste game of the day. Today, I got round one from our local Friday night tournament. It is a Bicephalon mirror between Evan on the left and Josh on the right. Probably playing pretty similar list. So Evan's going to be able to start off going first, which I'm not sure if that's the uh, best thing for this matchup. This The mirror match is really weird. Josh will be able to get a burst turn one, but you can't say you'll go second. Because that just puts you at too much of a disadvantage sometimes. But Evan's going to grab a Marshadow and let loose right away. Each gra grabbing four cards from that. And looks like Evan did get a Lily, but decided not to play it. Probably got caught up, thought he supported or something. But Josh is going to go. And he did get an Ultra Ball, so the Marshadow didn't, did not make him dead draw. Looks like he's going to grab a Poiple. And maybe he has another supporter in hand. Now, he's really just looking for an energy, and ooh, he's going to be able to Lily for 8. Right now, if an energy is all he really wants, maybe another Blacephalon down like he plays, and he's going to attach up to the active, and looks like he is going to burst GX, taking a prize, taking the first prize of the game. But Evan's going to go, respond with a Lily, going to draw. If he can get everything he needs this turn to knock out that active Blacephalon, that would be huge. But he does need quite a lot. Evan does get two Naginatals out from the Lily. Looks like he's going to charge up. And does he have the energy for it? Ooh, and he whiffs the energy. So he is going to burst GX also following Josh's suit. So now this puts the play on Josh. If he can get the response knockout and go ahead two prizes, that could be pretty big. Josh is going to Cynthia. He does need quite a lot. I think he only has like one energy in the discard, so he'll need another... Naginatal, another way to discard. But looks like Josh is going to grab some fire energies from that Cynthia. He does find a mysterious treasure, which will be able to throw away that fire energy. I think he has enough to respond with knockout here. Looks like Josh is eyeing up a Marshadow, but decides to grab the Naginatal instead. He's going to shuffle on up. I believe he has two fire energies in the discard, which would be enough to take the knockout this turn. Yep, he's going to attach to the active. Now, Evan could have used Blacephalon's first attack to confuse Josh, but it's one of those risks that sometimes you don't want to take. But Josh does take the next two prizes, going down to three. Looks like Evan's going to be able to B-string to the Naginatal and Hala, Hala Hala, for seven. If he can find another B-string and a Blacephalon, that would be pretty big. It looks like he does find the Blacephalon, but no B-string. He does get the attached return onto it, which... Just leaves a turning point onto the Blacephalon for 80, setting up some future knockouts. Now, Josh isn't in B-string turn, so Josh probably can't respond with anything too massive this turn. He does play energy switches, so he could knock out this Naginatal, potentially, and it would take Evan out of his B-string turn. But Josh is going to bench a third Blacephalon. Not sure what else Josh has going on. He has no energy in the discard, so he's going to attach to the... Uh, Bunch of and Cynthia. He could have held on to the Cynthia. He did have B-String in hand, but he really needs to find some fire energies to throw away so he knows he can respond this next turn if he gets knocked out. So he does get a couple supporters and a B-String, so he'll be fine next turn. Looks like Evan's going to attach Beast Energy to the Bacephalon, be able to charge up, and he Guzmas the clean Bacephalon on the bench. Which really isn't the biggest issue to Josh, because he can just charge right back up for the Naginatal, as long as he can find some Beast Energies this turn, or Beast Rings. And, yep, Josh throws on a Beast Ring right away, and then Mysterious Treasures, maybe grabbing a Marshadow if he wants, but looks like he doesn't want to grab it. He does have the Hollow in hand, so he'll be able, be able to get a 7 cards, which is pretty good. One better than Cynthia. That one can matter. <laughs> Sorry for that weird glare on that. The Cephalon to the right. Ooh, and also this uh, prizes. I'm getting used to it, so don't uh, scold me too much if I forget. <laughs> so Josh does find a Beast Energy to attach for turn. That makes it so you have to discard one less energy. And he does find another Beast Ring, which will set up his knockout for his last prize, most likely. And this mirror match is really weird. Most Beast Ring mirror matches are, but... Looks like Josh just needs to discard three, so he's going to take one from each Bicephalon and an Aginatal. I probably would have left two on that damage Bicephalon, just in case, you know, he took out the active, but 
I don't think he has that much to worry about. Looks like Evan's going to charge up, attach for turn, Guzma the damaged Bacephalon, and he'll be able to at least take another two prizes, going down to one, but I don't think there's anything Evan can do to stop the active Bacephalon coming in, so Josh is going to take that game. Nice short sweep, big one prizers, or big basics knocking out other big basics, you know. Mirror Ranch is always fun. But yeah, that'll do it for today. Uh, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. We're back. Let me know what you think of the overlay. Do you like it? Is it too much going on? Uh, the prizes are going to be weird for me to get used to, but that was like the most requested feature for us to have, so figured I would work on it. But yeah, thanks everyone.